The internet has come to the aid of many conducting research in the education sector. However, this has been costly. In an effort to reduce costs associated with internet-based research, the Investor of Zambia has devised a program dubbed Zambia Research and Education Zamo. Zambia Chairperson Professor Steven Simkanga, who is also University of Zambia Vice-Chancellor, has explained the efficiency associated with the system, which is connected to others in the region. Accessing more bandwidth but cheaper will enable the students and, and, and staff to access this, this, inform this information uh, you know, cheaply and faster. Um, these days, uh, you know, when you are a lecturer, uh, we know you have to be on top of things because students, you know, they, they use their self and get this information. So as a lecturer, you also have to be on top uh, of, of things by, by accessing this information. And a Dutch IT expert, Robert Jans, says a similar project has yielded positive results in other parts of the world. The big need at this moment is internet and connectivity to the rest of the world. That's, that is only one of the services that in the end will be being provided by this network organization. We should also think about sharing content for ICT and learning. This kickoff meeting was targeted at sealing remaining loopholes in the system prior to the official launch. The use of technology like this will probably be able to help young people and of course students in general carry out their research in a way that is more efficient through the use of internet services. The Zamra Network is expected to help university students and researchers generally be able to research at a much faster pace.